Hello, welcome back to the channel. It's Echo Stretch. In this video, we're going to go ahead and check out Experiments host on the ESP32 S2 boards. Um, we will be using his Xhost Pro web installer. I will leave a link in the description. You can go ahead and add it to your favorites just so you have it. Um, but yeah, I've already went ahead and plugged in my board. Um, from there, we can go ahead and just hit the connect button. And as you can see, the board does come up on COM4. We'll go ahead and select it and hit connect. Give it a few moments here and the dashboard should come up. From here, we're just going to go ahead and hit install Xhost Pro. And it does give us a message warning us that uh, all the existing data will be erased. That is fine because we do want the new data on there. So we'll go ahead and hit install. Give it a few moments, it should start erasing. It shouldn't take long for the erase process. Um, as for the flashing part, it does take a little bit of time, maybe up to two minutes. Um, but yeah, once it's done, we'll go ahead and just uh, skip ahead once it starts doing the actual flashing. Okay, so now it is installing. So we should see a percentage pop up here um, in a few seconds. I think it starts at 4%. Okay, any moment now it should pop up and there we go. So we're going to let that go ahead. It does take up to two minutes here. But uh, yeah, once it's done, we'll be right back. Okay guys, so we're at 98% now. It did seem like it took a little longer than two minutes, but 100% uh, wrapping up. And then uh, yeah, once it is flash, you're good to go. You won't need to flash it again until there's another update. But yeah, once it is complete, you will get a message installation complete. Go ahead and hit next if you want. But other than that there, we're going to go ahead and get it unplugged. And we'll plug it into our PS4 and get that booted up. Okay, so once we're over to the PS4, we'll go ahead and get logged in. And select your user. Jump over to our settings. As you can see, I don't have goal 10 options, and if we do scroll down, I don't have debug settings. Now we'll jump up to our network, and we're going to go ahead and make sure we do have it connect to the internet checked, and then we'll go ahead and set up our internet connection. we we'll use Wi-Fi, and from here we need to go with custom. If you do go with easy, I issued or I had issues with it not actually connecting. So if you go with custom, Give it a few moments here just to load up the Wi-Fi connections and then just select Xhost Pro. And as for the password, it is just 1 to 8, which is pretty much the generic that everybody uses. Just easy to, uh, to add. And then we'll go ahead and hit OK. Give it a few moments here and it should bring up our settings. Okay, and from here, IP address automatically. DHCP, do not specify, DNS, just go with automatic, MTU automatic, and then proxy, do not use. And as you can see, our settings have been changed, or updated, I should say. So we can back out of there. There's two ways to get in. You can go in through the user guide and select user guide, or you can use the web browser. I do recommend using the web browser first, just so you can go ahead and clear everything that's previously there. Um, go ahead and just delete all into your browser history clear all that as well and then finally just go into your settings and delete cookies and clear website data now once that's done you can go ahead and back out okay so we'll go ahead and launch our browser we're just going to go ahead and close that first window and then we'll go up to our url bar and we'll type in um, http 6.6.6.6 go ahead and hit r2 for done and as you can see, it does come up. Now we do have our options here, our goal 10 options, our jailbreak options, payload, FTP, web. Um, everything is used with the D-pad. So you can go ahead and press up and down on the D-pad, right or left as well. You can go through these options, check them out. Um, you do have your GTA mod menus as well as your Red Dead Redemption mod menus. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and launch goal 10. So we'll go ahead and select it with X. Give it a few moments here. Now it does do the insert USB automatically for you so you don't have to do any of that that is the one good feature with the ESP32 S2 boards um, but yeah we should see it loading the XFAT now there we go and we'll wait for the Goal 10 2.2 to be loaded 
Okay, so it did skip ahead. Um, loaded gold hen before the USB message did come up. Um, might have been something to do with the memory error that popped up. But uh, yeah, guys, that's it. basically it. You can go through these options and uh, check everything out. See if we can launch a payload here. I'm not sure exactly where everything is. Uh, let's go to General Utilities. Okay, and there's our Orbis's toolbox. Let's go ahead and launch that. Okay, running the payload. Give it a few moments here and it should pop up. There we go, Orbis's toolbox loaded. So we can go ahead and hit our PlayStation button now. And as you can see, we do have Orbis's toolbox up. Uh, if we go into our settings, we have our goal 10 options. Uh, we can go ahead and enable the FTP as well as the bin loader server. Um, but if we back out of there, we do have our Orbis's toolbox menu as well. Um, but yeah, guys, that's basically it for the video. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.